Hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to be a Reiki energy healing session with intuitive healing, implementing muscle check-in, intuitive muscle check-in, Chinese five element theory. It is a new healing modality that I learned over the weekend. I spent 20 hours learning this during my retreat and you guys are absolutely going to love it. It is a healing modality called Trilogy and it encompasses a mixture of intuitive healing, Chinese five element theory, um, muscle check-in. So you guys are going to love it and you guys are going to get I think double or triple or quadruple the healing benefits that you did in my previous videos with Reiki. By the way, you're still receiving the Reiki. The Reiki is on. This Reiki does go beyond space and time. And uh, you're getting Reiki on top of all of this other amazing healing modality that I learned. So. Let me show you every session we're going to have this 11 by 17 paper, laminated paper, and all of these are going to be addressed. So what I do is I ask your subconscious mind and I pick up through my intuition what you need out of this chart. Now again, this is a collective healing. If you want a personalized session, I think you will really benefit from it. Um, my information is in the description box below of how to get one scheduled. I also am going to leave a testimonial but let's just go ahead and get right into this because you guys are gonna love it okay I'm running out of room on my table I need to get a bigger table for sure so the Reiki is activated and before we even um, get started with this trilogy healing I'm gonna start off you know, we're grounding you, doing your golden bubble, protecting your energy from mine and my energy from yours. Feeling more rooted and secure and grounded. I'm going to be holding your heart and your, actually your stomach and your heart, just grounding you into this present moment. Feel that Reiki healing energy. This Reiki goes beyond space and time. So you can come to this video as many times as you need to. And trilogy alignment goes beyond space and time as well. So you can come back to this video as many times as you need to. Whenever you feel like you need this healing energy shift. Sending out the Reiki to ground you and relax you. So this trilogy alignment is something that I'm going to have to be practicing, of course, just like everything, you know, my Reiki videos weren't amazing in the beginning and, you know, there's still things I feel like that I can improve on, you know, constructive criticism, but, um, I, this is literally, I'm filming this on a Tuesday and I finished last on a Sunday. So this is still really fresh to me or really new to me, but practice makes perfect. So thank you so much for trusting me 
in your healing journey and in this healing video. So I'm going to ask your subcon the collective subconscious mind what needs to be aligned for the collective's highest good out of the five elements of fire, earth, metal, water, and wood. And I'm going to be using muscle check-in So what's coming up for me is we're going to be removing a sense of despair and despair is basically the emotion that um, tomorrow is going to be just as bad as today. Um, and in the sense of, you know, if you're really, if you're having a really bad day today, you're thinking that tomorrow is not going to get any better. Um, the next thing that comes up for me is depression. Yeah, depression came up twice. Um, we're going to be removing a sense of shock from your body. We're going to be releasing, um, the emotion of resentment. We're going to be giving some organization back into your life. We're going to be instilling a sense of worthiness. sense of nervousness and that's what's coming up for me today okay so let's just get into this and again the more that I do this the quicker that it will happen as far as like the muscle check-ins and everything so let's just start off we have a lot of earth element that we need to balance so worthy Worthiness, um, if you may have been experiencing uh, perhaps a sense of unworthiness, we're going to be removing that from your emotions. We're going to be removing a sense of despair from your emotions and a sense of nervousness from your emotions. And so let's just go ahead and do that. So I'm going to hold the left side under your ribs and I'll hold your heart as well so left side under your ribs and holding your heart now and we are releasing the emotion of unworthiness despair and nervousness for increased happiness and optimal health. So you're getting the Reiki now and you are getting the Trilogy alignment. So just close your eyes, get yourself comfortable. We are removing the emotion of unworthiness, despair, and nervousness for increased happiness and optimal health. Uh, 
um, just shutting those emotions Tuning into your body and your energy field. Good, good, good. You're doing great. Just sitting with that. Removing a sense of unworthiness, removing the emotion of unworthiness, despair, and nervousness from your body, your mind, your auric field. And so you're feeling the Reiki as well as the trilogy feeling the warmth or coolness or different energy sensations from the Reiki and you are receiving this energy alignment as well, this intuitive energy alignment. Deep breath, feeling that energy shift now. Feeling really relaxed, really peaceful, really centered. really sleepy which just means we're getting into a parasympathetic response allowing for rest and digest getting out of that fight or flight another thing that I want to note and leave it in the comment section below if you relate to this because there's a lot of earth element that is coming up in this trilogy so if you're dealing with issues related to your gut your stomach and digestion your lymph nodes, your pancreas, your thyroid, digestion, maybe the mouth, okay, dry mouth, um, or if you have issues with your first chakra, which is the root chakra, so if you feel insecure or uh, not protected or just not, not supported, you know, um, that is a huge indication that your earth element is unbalanced and we're just rebalancing your earth element. So if any of that resonates with you, take it. If it doesn't, leave it. Just know you're receiving the healing regardless. Good. Is there more now? I'm going to be holding your forehead and the back of your head. And we are releasing the feeling of depression for your highest good and optimal health. So holding your forehead and the back of the neck or back of the head, holding the forehead and the back of the head. We are releasing the feeling of depression for optimal health. So typically when, um, so we're in the metal element right now. Um, if you know anything about Chinese five element theory, um, which I do now, cause I learned all the whole weekend. Um, The metal element, when they're out of balance, they could feel um, depression, they could feel a sense of grief or regret or lack of control, unsupported. That word is coming up a lot in this session, be feeling unsupported, right? 
we talked about the first chakra feeling unsupported right in the beginning i wanted to ground you so you could feel supported so if that resonates with you just allow that to set in for you so you are receiving the reiki and the trilogy um so yeah a lot of mel uh, if you're a metal is out of line or um, if you are a metal element if you are unbalanced or having a bad day you can feel sadness or depression or grief or loss feeling unsupported maybe you feel stubbornness okay There's the energy shift, good. Still holding your forehead and the back of your head with the Reiki alongside the intuitive energy healing of Trilogy Alignment. We are releasing the emotion of depression for optimal health. Just feeling that now. Feeling the depression leave your mind. Any symptoms of depression, just alleviate that and feel happiness now. Accepting happiness, positive emotions in your mind, giving you some comfort in this healing session. And using the Reiki to allow you to move forward with these positive emotions. Yeah, feeling lots of warmth. Feeling so good. Are we? Is that is, is that it? Yes. Okay. Um. Wait. Are we done? No, we are not done. So we're gonna hold the forehead and the back of the head. We are releasing the emotion of depression for your highest good and optimal health from the mind. Holding the forehead and the back of the head with the Reiki. Can you feel the energy shift? Can you feel the difference with the addition of this new energy healing modality? Leave it in the comment section below. I'm really excited about this. I think this is such a great addition to this channel, to my one-on-one -on -one sessions, I think it's going to be groundbreaking and add such a difference in these healing sessions, right? Really getting into the details of what needs to be served for the highest good of the collective in each session. There we go. Is that it? Yes. Okay. Let's go to the water elements. You're going to be holding. Let's hold the kidneys. You may not be able to see my hands, but just holding the kidneys. And we are releasing the emotion of a shock for increased happiness and optimal health. And shock is something that I feel like not a lot of people think about. So let me read to you um, about shock. See if it resonates with you. I just feel drawn to read this for you. A lot of these emotions you may hear... Um, and you may be like, that doesn't resonate with me. And it may not resonate with you, but I feel like a lot of times, again, this is your subconscious mind telling my intuition what 
needs to be served and what needs to be addressed. So it may not be conscious on your mind. You might think that you need to, let's say, work on your worthiness, for example. It's just one of the emotions that I see on here. I always should ask your subconscious mind what I need to serve so that we can address worthiness because you might think it's worthiness, but there's layers to emotions. You can't, you, sh you could be feeling anxiety because of trauma, but you don't think it's the trauma. You think it's anxiety. Does that make sense? Let me know if you have any questions. I'm happy to answer them. Um, again, one-on-one -on -one sessions are really imperative in your healing journeys. Um, so, we're going to the water elements. Here's shock. I wrote down a lot about shock, which is interesting. Yeah, we talked a lot about shock. So it says, and I'm gonna read this while I hold your um, kidney. So we are releasing the emotion of shock for increased happiness and optimal health. It says, um, shock is a critical condition brought on by the sudden drop in blood flow through the body Shock may result from trauma, heat stroke, blood loss, an allergic reaction, severe infection, poisoning, severe burns, or other causes. When a person is in shock, his or her, his or her organs aren't getting enough blood or oxygen. Shock is often an anchor for other emotions or memories, which is exactly why I said what I said about, you know, there are layers to emotions and shock can be um, an anchor for other emotions that you may be feeling. So you may be feeling anxiety or fear or panic or terror, but shock is usually an underlining emotion for all those other secondary emotions. But I feel like a lot of people don't think about shock. Um, It is important to release shock from the physical body. And here are the other notes that I wrote. Um, when we release shock with other, emotion, with other emotions, um, there is a big energy shift that is coming. So shock is a really good emotion that we are tackling in this session. As well, I have a note that shock creates cracks in your Wei Chi field. Um, so your Wei Chi field is your golden bubble around your whole entire body. And when there's shock, it can be like a little tear or a big tear in the Wei Chi field, the golden bubble. So um, you it may be hard for you to protect your energy from others. You may carry on a lot of energy that's not yours. Um, so it's really important that we address shock. And when the way you feel or the golden bubble is cracked, other negative energies and emotions get stuck in the body. So really, really important. Shock is a great emotion to tackle in this first session introducing the trilogy alignment. Okay. Yeah, it's funny. I wrote so much down for shock, like so much compared to the other slides. So I don't think that's a coincidence. Again, getting the Reiki. I'm so sorry if this is all over the place, but I really wanted to start recording. I really wanted to start getting into the swing of things with this. Again, practice makes perfect. And 
it's only gonna go up from here. So hold in your kidneys. Um, if you're dealing with shock, you may have issues with bladder, or kidneys, urinary tract, your adrenals, your reproductive organs, your ears. So if you have like tinnitus or loss of um, hearing, um, if you have hydration issues, so if it's hard for you to um, retain water or if you waste water too quickly, um, or your second chakra, which is the sacral chakra, all those are associated with the water element. So if you find yourself subconsciously or consciously dealing with shock, just know that those are some manifestations in the body if you're dealing with these emotions. Again, it's human. Everybody deals with certain um, elements or emotions. There we go, you guys. You feel that shift? Are we, are we done? Yes. All right. Um, and let me... Let me work on the weight she field. Um, that didn't come up, but because I wrote down that we need to really seal up that weight she field because your weight she field is probably cracked because of shock. Um, let's just seal up that weight she field. Let's seal up that golden bubble. And I'm going to be holding the back of the neck and the heart center. And you know what? Organization came up for me as well. So we are release we are aligning and integrating the Weichi feel and organization for optimal health. So holding your heart center in the back of your neck. So sealing back up that Weichi feel and allowing for more organization in your life. If you feel disorganized or um, a little um, mental fogness, lack of clarity, let's just boost that organization. And filling up your Weichi field and also, I'm going to fill up the Weichi field using a Reiki symbol that I typically don't use, but I was instructed to do so by my teacher. Um, we are going to be drawing he uh, Halu, which is a Reiki symbol, and we're going to feel the fill up cleared space with light. Still holding the heart in the back of the neck. Feeling really, 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 really relaxed. Hmm. How are you feeling? Deep breaths. With each breath that you take, you're feeling deeper, more relaxed in a meditative state. Relax. And you know that Reiki. Are we done? Yes. Okay, I'm going to be holding the bottom of your right ribs, okay, and we're going to be tackling the last feeling that we have, which is resentment. So, lots of emotions that came up on my chart, lots of emotions. So, resentment, this is under the wood element, 
So we are releasing the emotion of resentment for increased happiness and optimal health. Lots of warmth in this area. Oh my gosh, my hands is like on fire. My hands are on fire. Let me read to you about resentment. So I promise you on my spare time, I'm going to be reading all of these notes and all of these slides so that I'm more prepared when I talk about these emotions because there's so many emotions and so many um, emotions, body parts, aspects of affirmations um, that I just am going to continue to study. But I want to read to you about, I feel drawn to read to you about resentment since there's so much energy that's coming with this. Here we go. So you may feel resentment of others for doing what you actually want to do. Let's sit with that, <laughs> right? And that's normal, right? There's nothing to be ashamed of. It's normal. Emotions are normal. Um, I also have resentment is the feeling of frustration, judgment, anger, better than, and or hidden envy related to perceived unfairness or injust injustice. It's an emotion that we often experience when we fail to set boundaries or ask what we need, or when expectations let us down because they were based on things we can't control, like what other people think when they, what they feel or how they are going to react. Yeah, resentment. I could be feeling resentment of others for doing what you actually want to do. And let's just turn, if that resonates, let's just turn that resentment into inspiration. Inspiration and willpower is coming up for me. There's the energy chef, you guys, doing great, just breathing in, releasing this feeling of resentment for optimal health, using the Reiki and the Trilogy alignment, incorporating this Chinese five element theory, feeling so much better than we did when we first started. So relaxed. Good, good, good. Are we done? Yes. Are we complete? Yes. Let me know what you think. I hope you enjoyed this. Again, it's only going to get better from here. I had an amazing time learning this and I wouldn't have taken this course if I didn't think that it was going to benefit you because my Reiki healer uses it on me. She's been using it on me since 2021. I've had this course scheduled for a whole year and the time finally came for me to learn it and I'm so excited. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. If you want a personalized session, reach out. You will not regret it. And I hope that this served you well tonight.
Thank you so much for joining me. And I will see you guys in the next.